Hello, 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 it's Dolly, and it's How to Kill a Kit with Style Thursday. Yes, I'm going to put up process videos of layouts or some of the layouts that I complete using my homemade kit for How to Kill a Kit with Style. This is my first layout, so I have everything in my kit that I revealed on October 1st. All right, these are the papers that I selected from my kit. I thought this would be my base matted on this beautiful mauve color, which I will gut. And I may use part of it as one of the circle elements. I have this vellum piece, and then I have this part, this cut apart. All right, off camera, I use my Creative Memories circle cutting system to cut out three circles that are about two and a half inches in diameter. All right, that was a mouthful. As you can tell, I use that vellum piece and I'm gonna make that a focal point up there at the top regarding the circles and I'm gonna create like a C shape. Now that mauve circle was too dark for this photograph that's going to be in the lower, the bottom half of this layout. So I had a scrap of the One Canoe Saturday afternoon piece here, and so I cut that piece out, and it works perfect. Doesn't that look much better? That's not proper English. Anyway, I've got out my Tim Holtz Distressed Ink in Ground Espresso, and I'm going to ink the edge of this card here which was on that 12 by 12 sheet of paper that had a mix of three by four cards and six by four cards i'm going to pop it up using foam tape you see me do that and so i have a like a c kind of a c shape going on with the circles and then i'm going to have a staggered look with the photographs. And this is going to keep your eye moving around the page. And what am I doing here? Oh, I'm trying to decide. So I'm going to put that there. Oh, I forgot that I didn't ink this um, circle here. So I'm going to ink that really quick. A little bit about the photographs. These photographs were taken during Thanksgiving week of 2018. And I'm basically documenting on this layout the end of fall moving into winter. As you can tell in the top photograph of my little guy, there are no leaves on the trees. And the bottom photograph is showing all the leaves on the ground. And then the middle photograph is a it's a deer. It's a doe. I couldn't spit it out. It's a doe that was on our property. Um, we were really shocked. She was bedded down. She wasn't bothered by us. Um, the deer are not tamed, but I don't know. Maybe she wasn't feeling good. We really don't know. But anyway, you know, we saw her. We went the other direction. We didn't want to spook her on our property so that she would feel welcome to keep coming back if she wanted to. All right, back to the layout. I'm going to move on to my title. I'm going to use these alpha foam words and icons, basically, that are from the Willow Collection. And my title is going to be Rest Up Plus Slow Down. And these, the pink is very pretty. It's like a light, pale pink and I wouldn't even I know it's in the pastel family but it's just so mellow I mean that's just the feeling it gives the vibe that it gives when you're looking at this layout and so I just really really love how I mixed these two colors together thanks to one canoe too because they put these two colors together which is this beautiful pale pink and rose gold so they made it easy for me. All right, before I forget it, I will have the ladies links that are participating in the month of October, How to Kill a Kit with Style. You need to go check out their channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber with me, please subscribe. And give a thumbs up 
and watch the video in its entirety, all right? That gives us traffic at YouTube that other people can be inspired by our videos, just not only our subscribers, because we want to get new subscribers. I put out these videos to encourage you to document your memories in a fun, creative way for yourself, for your family members, for your nieces, your cousins, any of your family members, all of them, and your friends. You're documenting history. So get out those photographs and document memories in a fun, creative way. It's just a de-stressor. It is fun. All right, back to the layout. I've got my title complete. And I wanted something above that photograph of my little guy. So I get out the stickers from the Saturday afternoon, one penny two. And if I forgot to mention in the beginning, my kit for how to kill a kit with style for the month of October was 90% made up of one canoe two Saturday afternoon and the Willow collection. And then a couple from pieces from the collection before Saturday afternoon that I can't remember. All right, I need to ink the edges of these stickers so that they would blend together because they're of different colors. So to make your different colors and even patterns blend together is by inking the edges. That's what you see me doing here. I will bring in a bicycle on a wood veneer. It's a wood veneer bicycle, which came in the Saturday afternoon collection. Oh, before that, I felt like it was too blank over there by my title, my main title. So I saw this sticker that says, this heart sticker and it's gold, even though I have rose gold, but they're still gold. And it says feels like home, which our mountain retreat property, it feels like home. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you can't read the type, the card in the middle, it says this is our happy place. So all of my sayings go together. So it's rest up, slow down, feels like home. This is our happy place. This is describing how we feel when we're up at our property. I got out the enamel dots that came out with the Willow collection, and I'm gonna place a couple um, clusters using those enamel dots, and then that's it. So, like I said before, please follow the other ladies, and their links are gonna be listed below. I don't know when they're gonna post throughout the month. Some don't, some only post at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month. So you gotta make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell button, to receive notifications so that when they do post, you will be inspired. You can see what they created. All right, I'm just pointing out all the elements on this layout. I have close-ups coming at the end. And be sure to come back and make it easy for yourself. And I'm going to say this for the third time. Hit that bell button. All right, and we will see you next time. Bye.